Okay, so welcome everybody. I want to show you how to work on how you can easily, easily, you know, make a PowerPoint presentation very easily. So first things first, I'll go to my Microsoft Word Teams at my lower um, left corner, lower left corner. You can see I'm circling around it. If you look at the screen, circling around there. Whenever I circle around, it turns blue. That's the Microsoft icon. I'll tap on it. And I'll come to the second um, column where I have different things. Um, they are alphabetically arranged. This A, this C, this D, and O. So I'm going to scroll down. I'll go to corner and scroll down to P because PowerPoint starts with letter P. And I tap on it, and here it brings me here. Okay. So right here, you can see that it brings me to blank presentation, circuit presentation, geometrical, different types. So I can decide which one to use. As a new beginner, I wouldn't advise you to use the blank presentation because um, it may be more complicated for you to use. Or rather, you start with circuit or geometric, any other one, any template. I prefer you use a template instead of building it from the very scratch. So pick a template. Pick a template, decide on the color you want to use. Let's say we use green. And then we tap on create. And it's going to create it right away. Now that it's created, let me see that I'm moving to the side. Okay. So now it's created. I'm going to show you how to use it. See the first slide is showing. It says click to add title, click to add subtitle. So this is the very first slide people are going to see when you're about to present. This is your very first slide. So you should carry the title of your presentation. You can carry your name. You can carry the date. You can carry any other relevant information you want people to see first. Maybe where you are presenting from, like your office. Like if your office, you're going to present to another office. Of course, the name of your office should also be there. Oh, from Soso University or from Soso um, Company or from Soso, whatever it is. You just write it. So we we'll start with the title. What's the title of your presentation? Before you, you know, start your PowerPoint presentation, of course, there's something you want to present, you want to talk about. So I'm going to quickly write the title. Let's say... Real estate, real estate, um, real estate challenges in Lagos, real estate challenges in Lagos, Nigeria, the comma, Lagos, Nigeria. Okay, subtitle, I'm going to say presented by. Um, my name, let's see, on Wama. Uh, I'm going to write today's date, 16th May 2024. Okay, so I'm going to click outside it and look at it. Do I like it? I've written what I want to write, but I don't like the arrangement. So I'm going to make, I'm going to move it to the middle. So I'm going to highlight it and take it to the middle. You see this point here, where you have the left, the middle, the right, and justify. So I'm going to use the middle. You see, it looks better. It's in the middle now. And then I'm going to change the color. Let me see what red looks like. Nah, I don't like red on it. You can pick any color from here. Could be this, could be this, could be this. Could be ash, could be black. You could decide what it is. You could be white. You could decide what you want to use. Let's use yellow. Okay. You can also come here and change the font. I would like to use Times New Roman. I like Times New Roman. I'm going to make it bold because that is my very first um, slide, the title. I want it bold. I want everybody to see it from wherever they are seated. I can also make it bigger. It's on 48 now. I can make it bigger. Maybe move it to 54. Make it really big. And then I think I'm okay with the way it looks. Then I'm going to tap out and look at it. Do you see? I like what it looks like. You can decide on the corner. It depends on you. Now I'm going to also highlight the second box where I have my um, text. I'm going to highlight it. Same thing. I'll put it in the middle. You can decide to put it at any 
angle, you decide how you want it to look. Put it at any angle, you know, and then change the font. I like New Times Roman or Times New Roman. Then another thing I would like to highlight is that when you are doing your right and get, getting your presentation ready, make sure your font is at least 30. If you want it to be legible, let it be at least 30. I have 32 here. If you want it 30, you can also come here, tap on where it's 20 and cancel and change it to 30. And it will automatically change to 30 for you. So this is 30. So make sure your text is at least 30 when you are working on the PowerPoint so that if someone is watching or um, viewing it on their phone, they can see it very well. Even if it's on the screen and someone is sitting at the back in the auditorium, to an extent, they can see it as well. So 30 makes it at least legible. If you can make it bigger, fine. But make sure it's at least 30. Okay, let's go to the next slide. So my first slide is done, just like that. My first slide is done. Let's go to the next slide. I'm going to tap on new slide. Can you see this button here? Top um, left corner, new slide. So I'm going to tap on it. Now it shows me different types of slide. I can decide which one I want to use. So I've used the title slide as this first one. I mean, I want to make the second one. I want title and content. I like title and content because that's where I'm going to explain everything I want to explain. So what do you want to put on your um, second slide? It depends on what you've planned to use. What have you planned to talk about? I would like my second slide to have introduction. Introduction to real estate in Lagos. Now, this is my choice because of the type of topic I picked. So I'm going to highlight it and put it in the middle using this, this. I'm going to change the color because I like it to be yellow. I'm going to change the font because I like it to be New Times Roman. I'm going to make it bold, right? And then I'm good to go with 36, 36, they can see it. Then you come to this box. In this box, we, they give you options you can type. Okay, so you can add text. You can also add, you see me, I'm highlighting it, stock images, pictures, insert an icon, insert a smart art, insert cameo, insert video, insert table, insert chat. They can do all of this. You can decide on any of them. Mm? But what I want to do, I want to put text and a picture. I'm going to write my text. For example, I'm going to say, Real estate, let me change. Real estate in Lagos is very interesting because of the diversity of, of places available. We have the island and Mainland. Okay, I want to say also the uh, waterlogged, sorry, waterlogged and dry land as well. These are different points I want to make. Um, there are also factors of area boys when getting getting a land, depending on the points, what I want to talk about. So you can say your introduction points here, and I want to insert a picture. So I'm going to, can you see this box being highlighted with um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight points at each corner, at the edges. Mm -hmm. So whenever you tap on this edge, it will show you any of the edges that is not white. It will show you a four-point arrow. That four-point arrow is for you to be able to move it around. So you can move around, move it around anywhere you want. But when you tap on one of those white points, it shows you a, a two-mouth arrow that is white. That's for you to reduce it to any size you want. But this is not the size I want. That's not the shape I want. So I'm going to rather use the middle one and reduce it to the corner this way. So I've aligned it to the corner. OK? Remember, your text should be at least 30. Highlight and make it at least 30. I'll put it on 32. And if it's saying it's too small, I'm going to try and carry this up a little. 
going to try and also expand this a little. I remember 32 is a bit more than 30. I can also put my cursor there and change it to 30. So it's small and tap enter. So now this is 30. Let me change this to capital L. Okay. So you see what it looks like. Now I want to insert a picture. I can go to this icons that says insert up here. Look up here after file home. The next thing is insert. Tap on insert. Tap on pictures and it shows this device. My picture is on this device. I don't need to go to stock images. I don't need to go online. With this device, I can go to where yeah, my picture already has been downloaded. I want to go to downloads, tap on downloads. You can see a picture that I want to use. I'll tap on it and say insert. You see, the picture is here. So depending on what you are talking about, maybe I should have a house here as a picture, but I don't have that downloaded, so I'm going to use what I have. So this is what, <coughs> excuse me, this is what, <coughs> excuse me, this is what I have already. I'm going to use this and I'm going to, so this is my picture, my text, and my introduction ready. So I'm going to go to the next slide. My second slide is ready. I want to pick another slide. Go to new slide, tap on it. I'm going to show you different types of slides. Now I want to use two content slides because I want to compare something, for example. So I'll tap on it and it creates it for me. Title. So I'm going to say compare mainland and island houses. Okay, again, this is not this queue to the left. I'm going to put in the middle. I can also change the color again. I can change the font. You can play with font, know that you can play with font and it's already on 36, so I'm good. Then click to add title. I can say mainland, mainland houses. They are cheaper to rent. I can say island houses. They are more expensive to rent, okay? So I'm going to also, I'm going to insert a picture because I want to put a picture maybe to show what I mean. Hmm? Yours may not have a picture depending on what you are presenting. I'm going to go to downloads where I have pictures that I want to use. I'm going to pick one, tap on insert and it brings it here. This is too big. So I'm going to lower it. Remember without any of the points, either you can use this one to make it, also use this one to make it smaller, depending on what you want. You can just begin to make it smaller to fit what you want. Remember, I put my cursor at the point where, at the edge, where the arrow turns white, double arrow turning white. So this is my picture for mainland house. So I want to put a picture for island. I'm going to go to insert again, go to pictures, this device. I'm going to pick a picture from documents. Let's say I pick this one and it comes here, insert. It has inserted for me. I'm going to put it here. I'm going to try and make sure they are the same height so that it looks, you know, even. Okay, so this is it. So my second slide is ready. You can play with the sizes, tap on it. Play with the size. You want it bigger, you want it smaller. You can play with the sizes up to you. It's up to you. You can play with the sizes. So my second slide is ready, and that's how it goes. You can go all the way to 30th slide. It's up to you, but really would advise that, depending on what you're presenting, let your slides not more than 15, so people can really follow you. They won't slip up on the way. Okay, so now this is ready. So lastly, I'm going to add my thank yous. Of course, this could flow into many, many other things I want to talk about. But since this is an example, I'm going to stop here. The only thing I'm going to add is my thank you slide. So I'm going to pick a blank. I'll pick a blank slide to write my thank you. I'm going to go to insert and look for a text box. Insert, I'm going to come this way all the way. I can see a text box here. I'll tap on text box. Tap on it and I'll bring it here. You see it has come out. I'm going to write thank you. Thank you for, for listening. You could just say thank you. You could say thank you for listening. Thank you for watching. Thank you for being part of this. Whatever it is you want to say, let your thank you be here. But look at it, it's very small. What am I going to do like we've learned? Highlight it. I'm going to change the size to start with. My very last slide, I want to leave it a bang. I'm going to leave it on, say, 72. Remember to increase it. You can do it to the side. 
make it widened so it can fill up. I also like thank you to be on one line and for listening should be on that line. So I'll just put my cursor there and put enter. Remember, it's skewed to this corner, but I want it in the middle. Same process. I go to this middle part. I tap middle and it comes to the middle. Okay, because my cursor was there. I'm going to tap middle now. See, everything in the middle. Now you can decide to change the color, highlight it. Sorry, fix it instead of highlighting. Highlight it. I can change the color. I can change the text, the font type. I can make it bold. I want to give it a bang and all that. I can insert a shape. There's a shape here. I can insert a shape, you know, to just say thank you to everybody. You know, I can insert a shape. Maybe put it here, draw it here. Do you see? Just something to just appreciate people. You can put a shape anywhere. It doesn't have to be this last slide. I put your shape anywhere. So thank you for listening. And that's all. Now, if you want to do a slideshow, all you have to do, let me see if I can move this down a little. Can you see now? Move down my, my, my floating annotations a little. Now, if you look at where you see file, home, insert, draw, design, transitions, you see animations, you see slideshow. So you can go and type on slideshow. When you tap on slideshow, they will ask you, do you want to start your slides from the beginning, from the current slide, from the custom slide, it's up to you. And when you are presenting to a whole, um, a whole audience, you don't need to leave it in this PowerPoint place. It's better use the slideshow. That's what I'm showing you. So go to slideshow, tap from the beginning. You see, the whole thing has increased. Let me take this off. The whole thing as a can you see real estate? So, this is how your work is going to look like. Now, if you want to move it, you come to this bottom corner. When you come to this bottom corner and tap on it, you see there are some buttons here. This one, this first button is saying previous, the next one is saying next. There are different buttons here, but basically, what you need to concern yourself is the previous and next. So, you tap on next, it goes to your next slide. Look at the next slide you presented, you will create it. You see how beautiful it is. Go to the very next one. The one we compared, very beautiful. And you can decide to begin to create as many. And of course, we come back to the thank you slide. They will tell everybody, thank you. And when we are done, just tap on escape key and that is done. I hope that helps. If it helped, let me know. If you have questions, also drop your questions and we will take it. Thank you so much for being a part of this. I'll see you in my next one.